And what about the many tasks and the responsibilities that make our lives so busy? Spending time with loved ones, going to school or preparing for an occupation, earning a living, caring for family, serving in the community. Where does it all fit in? The Savior reassures us. Your Heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But that doesn't mean it's easy. It requires both sacrifice and consecration. It requires letting some things go and letting other things grow. Sacrifice and consecration are two heavenly laws that we covenant to obey in the Holy Temple. These two laws are similar, but not identical. To sacrifice means to give something up in favor of something more valuable. Anciently, God's people sacrificed the firstlings of the flocks in honor of the coming Messiah. Throughout history, faithful saints have sacrificed personal desires, comforts, and even their lives for the Savior. We all have things large and small. We need to sacrifice in order to follow Jesus Christ more completely. Our sacrifices show what we truly value. Sacrifices are sacred and honored by the Lord. Consecration is different from sacrifice in at least one important way. When we consecrate something, we don't leave it to be consumed upon the altar. Rather, we put it to use in the Lord's service. We dedicate it to Him and His holy purposes. We receive the talents that the Lord has given us and strive to increase them manifold to become even more helpful in building the Lord's kingdom. Very few of us will ever be asked to sacrifice our lives for the Savior, but we are all invited to consecrate our lives to Him. As we seek to purify our lives and look unto Christ in every thought, everything else begins to align. Life no longer, feels, no longer feels like a long list of separate efforts held in tenuous balance. Over time, it all becomes one work, one joy, one holy purpose. It is the work of loving and serving God. It is loving and serving God's children. When we look at our lives and see a hundred things to do, we feel overwhelmed. When we see one thing, loving and serving God and his children in a hundred different ways, then we can work on those things with joy. This is how we offer our whole souls, by sacrificing anything that's holding us back and consecrating the rest to the Lord and his purposes.